All right, ladies and gentlemen, before beginning this review, we are actually going to unravel this thing. I, f I see very few reviewers actually mentioning how you unravel these and if in fact this can be quickly deployed in a situation if, oh, let's say for example, you needed uh, some paracord as a tourniquet. Let's say you didn't have a belt or a shoelace or something like that. So this is a real world test about uh, how long this will actually take to unravel. I've never unraveled one of these before, so I'm starting from square one. You ready? Three, two, one, and go. All right, first of all, we've taken it off. We have to identify the end, which I'm pretty sure is right there. And we are in a hasty situation. There's a need for a paracord right now. Maybe there's bleeding going on, and I'm sitting here saying to everybody, wait, don't worry, I have a survival bracelet, and oh wait, there's a knife, maybe I'll use that to try to dig it out. That certainly won't compromise the integrity of the actual cord itself, nor will it probably cut me when I am in a high stress situation and I'm freaking out as I'm trying to unravel this thing. Or maybe let's say for example, a child needs a piece of emergency string in order to tie onto his balloon. And he needs it right now. Look at this, look at this. It's been how long and it's been 60 seconds and I haven't even gotten it unraveled. Really? Okay, so when people say that these are for survival type situations and can be quickly deployed, Already, I'm feeling uh, very, very incredulous. Um, I wonder half the time if it's if it's just for fashion. Um, now, obviously, the knife and, and the whistle and the uh, the whole compass on there is, is pretty cool. But r really, now is am I am I starting from the wrong side or something? Wow, that is just obnoxious. Okay, I, I'm just gonna end up cutting this because I know for a fact that this is the end, but. I think they melted this and fused it to each other. There we go, great, okay, nice. Look at, now the ends are released. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, I was gonna create a tourniquet to stop the bleeding, or, or maybe I'm lost in the wilderness and I'm going to create a snare, and my fingers are most certainly not cold and numb because I live in the Pacific Northwest, and I most certainly could not just carry an easily deployable spool of twine that I can just quickly unravel or keep in the bottom of my backpack or pocket, but no, I need to have this on my wrist because look at how efficient this invention is. Yeah, you, you ever wonder half the time if, if this stuff, these kind of gadgets and everything were actually tested out in the field yeah, they're a great idea. Uh, don't get me wrong. I myself have invented survivalist type gear. As a matter of fact, I, I am the proud inventor of the tactic clip, which is a tactical hair clip. Yeah, don't laugh. Don't laugh. It, it really is an actual legit hair clip that uh, soldiers use in Israel, uh, specifically women because they don't have to cut their hair there. Uh, but anyway, enough about me. Back to poking fun at people who have this, these crazy ideas, and I wonder if half the time, if they're just incredible salesmen, and they just have the ability to sell you a twine or a paracord bracelet, and then they just brand it as, hey, this is a this is for a survival situation, um, <laughs> and you're sitting there out in the woods. If you've ever been in a survival situation, normally your extremities are not operating very well. Usually you're, you're dehydrated or you're hungry, or maybe if you are in a combat situation, you've been shot at, so you're bleeding out. So in this case, we, we, we're bleeding out and we are trying to deploy this paracord, which is just absolutely obnoxious. I'm not even halfway through. And uh, yeah, all right, but hey, I wanted to do this from start to finish and actually give you some commentary and uh, some real world realistic commentary. Now, now granted, I don't, I don't pretend to be any kind of less or bare uh, in reference to some survivalist type personalities out there, uh, but you know, I, I do claim to have common sense 
And honestly, if, if you were taking some twine on a backpacking trip or something, I would just forego this silly little bracelet and not really get this. Unless, of course, once again, you're getting it for the knife or the whistle and the compass. The compass is actually accurate. I was actually quite surprised about that. Um, but the twine itself, I mean, I mean, really now, people, uh, how many survivalist, survival type situations do you hear, or read about in books, you know? whether they're on Mount Everest or whether they're lost in the jungles of Cambodia, which I have been in the jungles of Cambodia, right on the Vietnam border. I was doing some work out in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, how often do you hear about people in those type of situations and, and they get back and they're barely alive and you know they take a deep breath and they're like, you know what, if only I had a really long piece of string, then I could have survived. Uh, obviously, they did survive because they're telling you this, uh, but point being, it's, it's kind of funny when they're like, oh, all you need is a piece of string. Hey, look at that, look at that, almost done, almost done. Last little bit there, and last little bit here. And there we go. All right, okay, thread that out. It is surprisingly long, it, if I, I, I can't quite show you right now, but this is, it's a good six, ten, it's, it's a good ten feet of twine right here. And that took me six minutes to unravel this thing. Now, if you have six minutes in a survival type situation, more power to you. But if in fact you really are reliant upon a tool to get you out of a scrape, I would not recommend wrapping and packaging up that tool in an insanely tight little ball. I know it looks really sexy around your wrist and people look at it and they're like, oh man, you're always prepared. Now that is an everyday carry soldier right there. But seriously, if you're gonna use twine, just carry a spool of twine in the bottom of your pocket. I mean, I mean, look at, look at how much that, that compacts down to and even, even in this bird's, bird's nest, this would take me, my guess is 15 seconds to unravel and immediately, immediately start using. So th those are just some real world thoughts on these paracord bracelets. Uh, once again, I would recommend them simply because, you know, they, they, they do have a piece of twine there and if you have six minutes to unravel it, great, but the little accessories that they come with are, are kind of legit. It's kind of nice to have that always on you. Uh, but anyway, that's it. My, <laughs> let's actually continue with the actual review of this paracord bracelet so you can see how this little knife works and uh, you can see where I found this on Amazon.com for less than $10 if you're interested in buying one of these things, uh, specifically these little accessories right here. Pretty awesome. All right, let's continue with the review. Hello Amazon.com, today we're coming to you with this Paracord Survival Bracelet. I love weapons such as the Tactic Clip right here or this little knife right here. Yes, this is a barrette that goes in your hair, but I'm not here to talk about this. I'm here to talk about what is on my wrist right here. In case you're wondering, it does come in this kind of package like so. So not really gift package type worthy, but it would work wonderfully as a stocking stuffer or something like that. It also comes with a small little blade cover like this, which you can pull off and then assemble in place. So let's get right down to it. In case you're wondering, my skinny little wrist, if I were to measure it around like that and then actually measure out uh, basically the circumference it is seven inches so fairly skinny wrist and if you're upwards of probably eight or nine inches thick around that is uh, it will probably fit you because look at how much room I can actually fit two fingers in there like so uh, so odds are for the majority of the male population, this is probably going to fit. Now, my big thing was, does the north function actually work? Uh, because yeah, the whistle is cool. Yeah, the knife blade is cool. Check it out. This is how easy it is to deploy. Oh, isn't that fast? How cool is that? I would probably not recommend, by the way, getting this for a, a child simply because it's a, it's a little cumbersome to put on. It uh, sort of, you know, you can try it like this way or you can try it like this way. But, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, is that you have a blade that uh, is right next to your wrist. So odds are if you have a child, you probably don't want them going like this, trying to get the blade <laughs> into this little sleeve right here. 
and they're gonna end up lacerating some of their veins. But anyway, once you actually get it in like this and it snaps in like uh, so, like that, then odds are you're good to go. It's not going anywhere. But just keep in mind that you're not gonna be taking this on and off, on and off to use your as your everyday kind of knife. But anyway, back to the compass. Yes, it is accurate. As a matter of fact, I put a nail down there pointing that way, which is north, exactly north. So if we were to try to shake it up like so, and we're going to put it like this. Oh, let's see which way north is. Let's see if it points in the same direction as the nail. Oh, and yes, it does. As a matter of fact, if we orient it, uh, right next to the nail like that. So now we're actually facing north and yes, that is in fact facing north So if you see any reviews saying oh, it's not accurate it it's it is accurate I, I mean honestly in in a survival type situation you could probably depend on this guy obviously it's uh not a replacement for one of those high-end type compasses that I use for navigating when I'm out backpacking. But you know, if it's uh, as small as a dime and if it's gonna go on your wrist, you know, you might as well have a compass. That's kind of nice. As for the whistle right here, let's go ahead and sample this guy. Here we go. One, two, three. Wow, that is a shrill, shrill whistle. Five out of five stars. Highly, highly recommended. This thing is so darn cool. Uh, except maybe, of course, for the paracord itself. Honestly, uh, in a survival situation, you're probably not gonna sit there and try to unravel this thing. Oh no, someone's bleeding out, I need a tourniquet. You're probably gonna use your shoelace or your belt or something like that. But if on the off chance you are on a desert island and if you have a lot of time to spare, then you can take 15 or 20 minutes unraveling this thing. Um, but I think that's kind of funny when it comes to paracord survival bracelets. They're like, wow, you can unravel this thing and it, it'll be, you can deploy it in a pinch. N no, you can't. Look at how tightly packed in those knots are. That's going to take uh, quite a bit. As a matter of fact, you'll probably need another knife in order to get this in there and get that out. But for the base features, which is the whistle and for me, the knife, I absolutely love this thing. The compass, eh, you know, it's a nice little pickle. You know, you know how um, you know you get a sandwich and they give you the pickle. But when it comes to the knife, that is just so cool. Kind of a raptor claw type feel to it. As a matter of fact, let's uh, find some. Here we go. We've got some paper right there. It's, it's, it's actually pretty thick. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Ooh, wow. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that went through the paper. All right. That's kind of handy because it's uh, sort of a a shark tooth or raptor claw type uh, feel to it, very similar to those tactical hair clips that I showed you earlier. How cool, five out of five stars. All right guys, hopefully this demonstration is helpful in determining whether or not this paracord survival bracelet is right for you. Very reasonably priced on Amazon. I think I got this for under 10 bucks, so makes a great gift for that uh, prepper survivalist type person. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully the dimensions help in determining whether this will fit you. All right, catch you later guys.